Seriously, don't pee on me and tell me it's raining. Let's begin. So does Keir Starmer think we're all stupid? Hang on, let me backtrack a bit. You must remember Keir Starmer, the Labour leader, who often speaks a little crap in my opinion. So what's he going on about this time? Surely he must have forgot that he actually presumably tried to overturn the Brexit referendum all those years ago to campaign for a second vote. And that maybe, just maybe, he might be turning against the EU. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? And I don't think that will ever happen at all. Although if this article's anything to go by, he might be changing his ways. <laughs> Bullshit! Oh, sorry. Got a bit of a cough there. But anyway, the article says that Keir Starmer says, Read my lips. I will cut immigration and vows to crack down on foreign visas and train more Brits. Well, who would have thought we'd see the day, eh, where Keir Starmer presumably wants to train us rather than import a load of people more than likely from the EU instead. But just what has made him realise that there are actually people in the UK that can do these jobs? I mean, could it be that he suddenly woke up and changed his colours? Or more accurately, in my opinion, he might just might be trying, if anything, to woo a few Tory voters, I'm guessing. But anyway, the article continues. Apparently, he made this landmark pledge, as they like to call it, in an interview with The Sun, and announced a Noah double lock pledge to curb numbers. He said, Labour will pass laws to crack down on bad bosses, hiring foreigners, and train more Brits. Well, the thing is, Keir, if, you know, if I remember rightly, Rishi, not so long ago, also made a similar pact where he would stop the boats and look just how that went, eh? And let's face it, if Labour have got anything to do with it, they're going to be even worse, surely, because as far as I remember, Labour are, let's just say, quite keen on immigration. Although, admittedly, you know, there's a chance I could always be wrong. Net immigration apparently hit 685,000 last year, the second highest in British history. So I'm guessing Keir's once and for all thought, well, bloody hell, they are a bit too high for me. And so Keir told the Sun on Sunday, read my lips. I wonder which one he's talking about. Anyway, I'll bring immigration numbers down. If you trust me with the keys of number 10, or to be honest, I don't think anyone does, I personally wouldn't, I will make you this promise and make sure British businesses are helped to hire Brits first. Well, there is actually help for British businesses and actually people who want to get off the dole. It's called the Job Centre. I guess that just must have escaped him, eh? He added, this is a changed Labour Party back in the service of working people. Well, it's about time, isn't it? Eh? Who would have guessed? I mean, New Labour 1997, and actually now now, Sir Keir Starmer just seems to want to copy that, I'm guessing. But unfortunately for him, not so long ago, D. Ream, or whoever announced that song saying things can only get better, which, from what I remember, went along in Labour 1997's campaign videos, have actually given him the swift middle finger, as far as I've heard anyway. He continues, this means not just talking about sky-high migration, but acting on it. Ooh. Ooh, it just makes me wonder what he'll actually do. Oh, it does make me wonder if his version of acting on it is saying, yeah, over here, lads, England's this way, rather than turn all the illegal immigrants back to the safe country of France, which is obviously where they should be claiming asylum first, eh? The Sun on Sunday can reveal, apparently, that the Labour Party will bring in two big changes to get migration down. So what are these, and what are they going on about? It does make me wonder if they've copied some other Conservative or maybe reforms plans on this, but I added a little bit of Labour bullcrap to the mix and see what we come out with. Well, apparently, bad bosses who break employment law, for example, by failing to pay staff the minimum wage, will be banned from hiring workers from abroad. Well, actually, hang on a minute. Isn't that a thing that all companies should have to pay the minimum wage? I mean, it's called the minimum wage for a reason, isn't it? Well, I guess so anyway. And therefore, it should affect any workers. But that's not it, because apparently training will also be linked to immigration. So sectors applying for foreign workers visas must skill Brits to do the jobs. Well, that that might actually help a little bit, although to be honest, it does make me wonder how lenient they'll be with that policy. This will also, he says, help to bring down Britain's bloated benefits bill. Although I'm guessing, to be honest, Labour might, let's just say, seesaw that up with, the, I don't know, some other things to keep Britons on their bums and therefore shoot the benefits bill through the roof. Although admittedly, you know, I could be wrong. Even says here, though, his marks his hardest hitting ever on immigration parks Labour tanks firmly on Tory lawns, which, yes, admittedly, it does sound like a Tory or reformed kind of thing, and that you need to curb migration numbers a bit, at least. But then again, here we go, it does say that Sir Keir refused to say what he would cut the migration numbers down to, or by when, which does make me think it will be the sometime in the next Parliament, maybe before the next general election after this one, eh? 